Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Army officers say the missile, found sometime last week, has been inspected at Roswell, New Mexico, and sent to Wright Field, Ohio, for further inspection. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. 3,000 miles from home, an American army is fighting for you. Everything you hold worthwhile is at stake. Only the hardest blows can win against the enemy we are fighting. I remember the Tensons preceding action, waiting for the range to close, the captain in huddle with other officers, and then saying, ready, Bill, ready, John, let her go. I remember the sheets of flame which came up and almost blinded us from our guns, filled the sky before our eyes, and then the shells as they started on their way. Fireworks more spectacular than any 4th of July. Pinpoints of red winging their way toward the target in a cluster, then to burst on the target in geysers of flame and smoke. The first target left a distinct impression. As the salvo hit the cruiser, she seemed to disintegrate on the spot in a sheet of flame and go down by the bow with her screws still turning. There was only a pall of smoke where she had been before. Love the other targets and were almost the same. And compassion Those crowded toward minutes we shifted fire rapidly from one target the to feeling another with hardly justice a pause between salvos. Toward those who still suffer within our country, whether they be white Always the complete or whether they the be black. Coolly shifting fire to engage each target as it appears. We gotta do something. You know what we gotta Cambodia do? Cambodia bombing is illegal. I think it violates the president's powers under the Constitution. It is uh, ineffective and it is immoral. And yet the president stubbornly pursues it, ignoring the will of the Congress as expressed crisis. in votes and government is not the, the solution to our problem. Government person. is the problem. We believe that peace is at hand. Being in the minority never proves that you're wrong. We're told that we must join in war or democracy will disappear from the earth. That is a propaganda of the preparatory type. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. The world will note that the, the first atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, a military base. We won the race of discovery. What are you talking about? The Cybermen are going to poison the air! I love the smell of night pump in the, in the war of the world! Turn on, tune in, and drop out. Pursuing peace is the only avenue which is compatible with our culture. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. There will be no more wars or Vietnam was between a Arabs mistake. and Israelis. Television is more popular than Jesus. I might have got away with it. <laughs> In terms of total military strength, the United States would not trade places with any nation on Earth. You should be more careful with your little toys. When the tower is in our hands, you will be destroyed. Just think how easy his task and mine might be in these meetings that we held. If suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species, from another planet, outside in the universe, we'd forget all the little local differences that we have between our countries, and we would find out once and for all that we really are all human beings here on this earth together. Why must you needlessly complicate everything? It can only be attributable to human error. Oh, God, this is like a nightmare. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? I'm afraid. That's what it is to be a slave. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. We have a problem. Goodbye. This is no simple reform. It really is a revolution. Sex and race, because they are easy, visible differences, have been the primary ways of organizing human beings into superior and inferior groups and into the cheap labor on which this system still depends. We are talking about a society in which there will be no roles other than those chosen or those earned. We are really talking about humanism. We believe that all men are created equal, yet many are denied equal treatment laughed, few people cried, most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita, Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him, takes on his multi-armed form and 
says, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. then relapsed into laughter. 